Hi angels, welcome to my glass skincare review. So I use a ton, and by a ton I mean a ton of skincare. I'm not going to show you everything that I've tried, that I've used. I'm going to kind of go over my like basics, my things that I really, really love that I find have helped the most. So we're gonna hop right into it. First things first, we are gonna put up our hair. This is the silk or slip. This is the slip um, hair. What do they call these things? Hair headband, I don't know. We're gonna put that on. I might do a little bit of the skincare with you because I wanna show you how to do it. So we are gonna take our first product, which is gonna be this Mix Soon. I love this stuff. There's a couple other cleansing oils I wanna try, but so far this one is amazing. You're just gonna take one to two pumps of this cleanser, and I kind of like to warm it up first. And then you just go right in. You're gonna use this morning and night. I already took my makeup off with a wipe tonight, so I don't have any, any tinted sunscreen on. You're just gonna go in and really start to emulsify the skin. So your skin should be dry when you're doing this. This is gonna help to pull out oil, sebum, blackheads, whiteheads. It's going to really get in and get all of, I'll show you guys, you're gonna start to see it. I might not have a ton of it today because I do this all the time so you don't get as much, but sometimes you can see the actual sebum plug if you look at your fingers afterwards you can see like a little bit of the sebum plugs on there so you can kind of roll the skin massage the skin i like to do this for quite a while really get all of that dead skin out Soften the skin and oil pull any stuff, but also you're giving yourself a little bit of like a lymph massage. So you're getting that nice lymph massage, moving the fluid out of your face. A good thing you can do, so something you can do to kind of move it further. So something you can do to, so something you can do to shape the face a little bit more is take your hand kind of like this, like a scissors, and just go like this, right up to your ear. And then if we were in the shower, or if I wasn't wearing this shirt, I would take it all the way down my neck into my clavicle bone and just kind of lightly press to drain the limbs. We wanna be careful not to get our hair oily tonight. We're leaving on vacation tomorrow, so I don't wanna to look too wild. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. And we are going to take this off with a clean washcloth. So these are the cloths that I get from Clean Skin Club. I just use a lukewarm water. Sometimes I'll do warm. And these are throw away towels, so they're one and done. I like these because they're great for travel, but also they're really hygienic. So if you are concerned about acne or if you are just a clean freak in general, these are amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of that off. And then we're gonna go in with our cleanser. So I may not do a full demo. I just wanted to show you guys the cleansing oil. That is like the most important part of the cleansing. You're gonna do that morning and night. Now, if you are using this skin spatula thing, I've talked about this on social media. This tool is freaking amazing. You do wanna use this with the oil, so you're gonna have the oil on. I'm just gonna show you guys how this works. You're gonna to go to cleaning mode. We're just gonna do it on your skin. It's gonna be a little rough. So you can see that it's starting to get. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's starting to get some of the 
sebum, the blackheads. I'm just gonna start to pull some of that dead skin off too. I freaking love this thing. I do this twice a week and it is amazing. It also helps to like lift the skin. It's a little bit of like a vibration situation. I'm not gonna do a full demo, but you can really see how much gunk is coming out of the skin. That is nasty. It's usually worse than that too, but Anyways, we're all pink from scraping our skin. This tool, I'm linking everything down below for you guys, so it's easy access. You can find it quick and easy. This tool is freaking amazing. Absolutely love it. A couple other tools that I do like to use. This one, oh, if you can purchase this device, it is a game changer. This is life changing. This is the MetaCube. I did do a review on this. This has something called AirShot mode. I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, so you turn it on like this. Booster mode, level one. Booster mode's gonna push your skincare into the skin. Microcurrent mode. Level Microcurrent's one. going to lift the skin. Dermashot mode, level one. Dermashot, I forget what Dermashot does, but I think it's gonna help with skin elasticity. Airshot mode. Airshot mode is amazing. You're gonna do this on dry skin. And this is gonna act almost like micro needling. It is freaking amazing. So you're just going to glide it, like you're gonna use the side of the device. And this helps with pores, helps to shrink them, tone, tighten, especially right after you clean them. This is amazing. AirShot mode is pretty painless and I feel like it's already shrunk my pores quite a bit. I've only done a couple treatments, so it's incredible, that device, so worth it. I'm gonna link it for you guys down below, it's amazing. The next thing is something that, I like red light therapy for a couple different reasons. It does help to boost mitochondria and it is good for skin health, but I don't think it's like as big of a game changer as people say it is. Like, I personally don't notice that big of a difference between red light therapy, like I like it, I feel like it makes my skin feel good, but overall, like this mask is amazing. It has three different functions. It has red, blue, and then a mix of the two, so like a purple light. This is really good for, and I'll show you guys how this works. This is good for anti-aging, collagen boosting. This one's gonna be good for doing both. So this has the blue light, and it also has the red light. Blue light is going to kill acne, so this mask, I do like it, however, if you're gonna invest money and you have very problematic skin, I feel like the MediCube is a better option. So I like them both for different things, but the MediCube, I just feel like you're getting more for your money, if that makes sense. Especially if you have any pore issues or sagging skin and you really wanna lift the skin, which I can't do that one yet because I'm pregnant, so um, shouldn't be doing any like major microcurrent stuff. But I just use the booster mode, which pushes the skincare in, it kind of melts the skincare in, and then air shot. So air shot's just going to basically um, micro needle the skin. Those are really the two devices that I use really, really regularly um, that I really like. So I feel like they're great devices. They're kind of like a one-time investment. You're not gonna have to keep buying them. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is the rest of the products that I use for like, this would be for a basic glass skin regimen. Um, maybe someone who has, you know, some redness, this would be a good one for them too. I love this Tear Tear. This is the Milk Skin Toner. You can tell I've used quite a bit of it. This is an amazing toner. It makes the skin look so smooth, so fresh, so radiant. Like I'll show you guys what this looks like on. Just take a little in your hands and it looks like milk. And then you just rub it, pat it into the skin. It is so calming and so soothing after doing like air shot or any other treatments. Oh my God, it feels so good. And you'll see when this dries, it gives just a very 
beautiful, moisturized, glassy glow to the skin. So I do have toner pads that I use and that I recommend to a lot of people for different reasons. Um, that would take the step of this. So if I told you in like a DM, like, hey, you gotta try these pads, they essentially do the same thing, but tier tier, I just tend to gravitate towards this one just for a daily use. That's why I'm showing it here. It's good for sensitive skin. It doesn't have like a one specific, one specific thing. It's moisturizing, soothing, and all around good. So perfect for if you have normal skin, um, normal dry skin, and you just need something to kind of give you a boost. You can see already how much more radiant the skin is. Now, if you have any redness, this one's the Dr. Jart. This is the Sip, Sip, Go, Pear. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, Sitka 2 Complex. I love this stuff so much. I got my husband hooked on this. This is like a redness reducing serum. So if you have rosacea like I do, um, I'm not saying this is going to treat or heal rosacea because it's very hard to manage condition and it really does require either like a medical intervention or like I healed mine with diet and lifestyle and then doing skincare. I still get it from time to time, especially if I don't eat really well, which lately I've been a little off my usual and I can definitely tell my skin. So my skin has more redness through here. Obviously I've been working on my skin right now, so it's going to be a little bit more red than normal, but you can see that I do still have rosacea. So does this cure it? No, but it will definitely, definitely help with the redness. Even if you just have irritated skin, it's a great soothing lotion serum. So if you got like a sunburn or something like that, really good product. Um, the next product I'm going to recommend to everybody and it is expensive. So do you need this? No. Will you benefit from this? Yes. This is plated. This is the plated daily serum. I like the intense better personally. The intense has more exosomes in it, but the daily is a really good option for someone who maybe is on a budget or just wants the effects, um, but maybe don't need as dramatic of effects. Like you just need a daily maintenance routine. Plated is excellent. Plated is awesome. And the daily is just fine. So this one, it just helps to basically go into the skin and revive it. So exosomes act kind of like stem cells in a way. It's going to basically renew and reboot the skin to be more youthful, glowy. Basically, whatever the skin needs, this goes in and does. Absolutely love it. It's amazing. The next product, and I have to show you guys, this is the Bean Essence. We're going to take one pump of this. I have to show you what this looks like on... This is very similar to the snail essence. So if you've seen me use that. So this has a very sticky, kind of snaily um, consistency, but oh my God, it just melts right into the skin. And once it's on, it's not very sticky once it soaks in and activates. So this actually exfoliates the skin, very gently exfoliates the skin. It will help your makeup to lay on smoother. So if you have textured skin, this really helps with that. It feels so good. And it just makes the skin look really, really glowy. Someone was asking about that on Instagram. So if you are sensitive to barley, maybe you don't want to use it, but fermenting stuff tends to make it less reactive. So it just depends. It depends on your skin. For me, I feel like it works really good. Do I use it every day? No. Um, I mix it up with the scale, the scale. I mix it up with the snail serum and I use other products too, but I absolutely love it. Like this is my go-to. This is obviously also my go-to. I got this not even a month ago and I'm almost like through the entire thing. We're going to take some of this and put this on. Oh my God, this feels so good. This is the bean cream by Mixoon. And this is, oh my God, it feels so good. But it like gives you this really nice soft glow. It's just so pretty. 
And there you have it. So this is a simple, easy routine. Um, it does feel like a lot of steps, but honestly, once you get it down, once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Now, one more thing I will add to this is you definitely want to make sure you are using a quality sunscreen. I found this one on Amazon and I'm obsessed. So this is 50 plus 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 plus. And this one has a rice and probiotic mix in it. So it's fermented rice. This one looks incredible. I'm not going to put it on now because it's nighttime. But this one has no white cast, so you can put it on. It looks good in pictures. So that is gonna be like my new go-to because a lot of the sunscreens have so many harsh ingredients in them. This one's really gentle and I like that it has, you know, everything you need in it. Plus it's a 50 plus, 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 plus. <laughs> but I like that because it's hard to find a sunscreen that, you know, looks natural, that doesn't have super harsh ingredients that is that high of a sunscreen. So I'm happy that I found that one. I've tested it out now for about almost a week and really, really, really like it. So um, yeah, that is our glowy, glassy, kind of like an everyday, simple, simple routine that you can start using. You don't have to go out and buy, you know, all the expensive stuff, but if you are going to invest in any skincare device, I definitely say the Medicube is worth it. It is six skincare devices in one. And I just feel like there's really nothing out there. Like this is great, but the Medicube has the ability to do the red light therapy. So it's like, if I were to go back and do it again, I like both of these, I use both of these, but I would choose Medicube. So Medicube is great. Um, if you're gonna do like a big investment, or you know, just doing regular skincare routine, but having quality products is such a level up. So I hope this was helpful. Um, a few of you were asking for this, so hopefully this works great for you guys. Let me know how you like your skincare routines. I hope you like this video. I'll see you later, angels.